Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers working with Bluetooth Low Energy. Our viewer asks, BLE notification subscription gets 133. Let's break down the issue. Our viewer is using two Android phones, one as a BLE server and the other as a subscriber. While they can enable notifications for a characteristic, they're encountering a persistent error code 133 when trying to write to the descriptor. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. In this scenario, you're encountering a status code 133 when trying to write to the descriptor for BLE notifications. This typically indicates a GAT error, often related to the connection state or permissions. First, let's review the server code. Ensure that the characteristic is properly configured for notifications and that the descriptor is added correctly. Next, check the client code. Make sure that the connection is established before attempting to set up notifications. The descriptor write operation should occur after the connection is confirmed. Additionally, monitor the logcat output. The logs indicate that the descriptor write operation is queued and then fails with status 133. This suggests a timing issue or a problem with the connection state. Finally, if you're able to receive notifications without writing to the descriptor using the native Android API, consider using that approach as a workaround. This may help you bypass the descriptor write issue. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're getting a status 133 when subscribing to BLE notifications, it might be due to a missing client characteristic configuration descriptor. Make sure your characteristic is set up correctly to support read, write, and notify properties. When the central device requests notifications, it writes to the client characteristic config descriptor. If a response is needed, you should implement a callback to handle this request properly. Some manufacturers may not follow the Bluetooth specification and might not include the CCC descriptor. If you can receive notifications without it, you can use a compatibility mode but it's better to fix the configuration. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.